Now, from the Three Rivers Casino Resort Sports Desk, KEZI 9 Sports with Brett Taylor. It's a known fact that every person in this world has a dream. No matter how big or small, we all want to accomplish something in our lives, whether that's getting a job, getting married, or just wanting to leave our mark. For years, Corvallis Knights associate head coach Ed Nags has been pondering that very question and finally came up with an answer just a year ago. Run from Wenatchee, Washington, all the way to Corvallis, Oregon to kick off the opening day of West Coast League Ball, all while helping give back to two communi communities that he cherishes. I mean, I wanted to do something that not everyone would do or want to do. From the dugout of the West Coast League, Ed Nags has made an immediate impact wherever he's gone to coach. First with the Wenatchee Apple Sox. Fortunate enough to be there for 14 years. And now with the Corvallis Knights. The summer of 17 was my first year there with the Knights and been there since and just a great organization from top to bottom. Helping bring championships to both programs over the last 20 years. 1-1 one, one, fastball. It's noisy now. Blasted to right of its fair. It's gone. It is gone. But this coming summer, Coach Nags has a different goal in mind. One that he hopes will help both communities through the power of running. I wanted to do something around adolescent mental health. Mainly because of uh, the struggles that my own son had gone through. And, you know, wanting to help families and help adolescents get get through that. On May 1st, Coach Nags will run 419 miles from Wenatchee, Washington, all the way to Corvallis, Oregon, all in the hopes of raising awareness and funds to help Oregon and Washington's youngest who are dealing with suicidal thoughts. I always knew that I, want, I wanted to, other than given... $50. I mean, I wanted to do something more substantial to help them do the work that they're doing, which I knew what it meant for our family. And if I could help in any way to, you know, help another family or another kid, you know, to not take their own life, it'd be well worth it. The two programs he's supporting, both having a lasting impact on him, one through one of his former players. It was obvious to me only seven seconds, which is an organization that is in Chelan, Washington, very close to Wenatchee. I came across them when one of my former players in Wenatchee, his eldest son, committed suicide. And the other through his son. He would tell you right now, if he was on the call with us, that it saved his life. He never thought he would see his graduation day um, in high school. Now, several years later, Nags hopes to help others just like his son, one step at a time. I think opening day run for me, opening day means hope. I mean, it's a baseball term. And when you baseball people and they think of opening day, it's, oh my gosh, my, I don't, yesterday, last season doesn't matter, right? It's, it's new. It's a new season. Here we go. The excitement, the hope. Uh, enthusiasm for that and I and I think the parallel with our own mental health and anyone's mental health is if we can wake up every day and have that opening day feeling you know no matter what happened yesterday and but today I can I can it's there's hope if you'd like to donate to NAG's cause you can head to openingdayrun.com or to our website where we have a link provided for you